Hello guys, so now we shall discuss what are the structures that are located in the mediastinum. Okay, so mediastinum. Now regarding this mediastinum, first of all you have to know how many different types of mediastinum we have got. So if you are looking a picture from the side view, we shall see what are the different types of mediastinum and we shall see where is the heart exactly located in which mediastinum is the heart exactly located. Okay, so if you are looking from the side view, anteriorly you have got sternum and posteriorly you have got the vertebra. Okay, so anteriorly you have got the sternum in this way. So this is the sternum. Okay, so this is the sternum that is located anteriorly. Now, and uh, down here you have got the diaphragm, you have got the dome shaped diaphragm, and all of you know that here on the back you have got the ribs like this. On the back, you have got the ribs. Let us say, for example, this part over here is your T1. Okay. And this part over here is your T2. Next, we have got something called as T3. And then we have got something called as T4. Okay. And all the way down here, we have got T12. A structure called as T12. Okay. So these are the vertebra which are located in the same way here. So we are not writing about each and every vertebra. Rather what we'll do is that we'll just write this as a T1 and uh, this one as T4 and here we'll write this as a T12. Okay. And all of you should know that exactly this is the place where the heart is sitting. Remember one thing, this is called as a base of the heart. The base of the heart, where is it located? The base of the heart is merged with the central tendon of the diaphragm. So this part which I am highlighting, this green color part which I am highlighting now, this is called as a central tendon of the diaphragm. So and this red color part is called as a base of the heart. Base of the heart is in merging with, merging with or mixing with the central tendon of the diaphragm. So if you look here, if you look here, if you, if I draw a plane like this, all the way from the tip of the sternum till the T1. So this is an imaginary line which I am drawing. And next another imaginary line what I will do is that. Uh, let me enlarge this part over here a bit. And other imaginary line is this one. In this way. Let us say this is the heart. Okay. Another imaginary line is from the sternum. From the sternum all the way touching the superior border of the heart till the lower surface of the T4. Remember this thing. So it is this imaginary line is touching what? It is touching the lower surface of the T4 vertebra. Not the middle, not the top. It is touching the lower surface. So in this way, I have divided the mediastinum into three parts. Not three parts, rather two parts. What are these two parts of the mediastinum? This mediastinum which is seen on the top, this is called as a superior mediastinum. This is called as a superior mediastinum. This entire part is called as the inferior mediastinum. So how many uh, stories we have? We have got two stories. On the top we have got the superior mediastinum. Stories in the sense the, the floors. Two floors. One the top floor is called as a superior mediastinum and the lower floor is called as the inferior mediastinum. Within the inferior mediastinum also there are three parts. What are these three different parts of inferior mediastinum? See this part which I am highlighting with the green, right? So this part which you can see here, this is called as the anterior mediastinum. And the heart where it is located, this is called as the middle mediastinum. And this part which I am highlighting with an yellow over here, this part over here is called as your posterior mediastinum. So how many different types of mediastinum we have got? We have got three important types of mediastinum, anterior, middle as well as a posterior mediastinum. Okay. So we have got we have got anterior mediastinum. Anterior mediastinum. We have got middle mediastinum. We have got the posterior mediastinum. So how many mediastinums we have got? We have got three mediastinums over here. Anterior, middle and posterior. Now one very important thing you have to remember that the heart is exactly located in the middle mediastinum. 
where is the heart located the heart is located in the middle mediastinum now after discussing this inferior mediastinum let us discuss about this superior mediastinum now in this superior mediastinum also in this superior mediastinum also we have got some few important structures what are these structures anteriorly okay all of you look here anteriorly what do you have anteriorly you have got the sternum posteriorly what do you have posteriorly you have got the vertebra all the way from t1 till t4 t4 in the sense the lower surface of the t4 t1 till t4 and on the top what do we have above if you go that is a opening this is an opening what opening is this this is a superior thoracic aperture okay and inferiorly what do you have inferiorly you have got a line that is going all the way from the sternum till the lower surface or lower border of t4 okay so all of you know now anteriorly what do you have posteriorly what do you have superiorly and inferiorly what do you have so if you by looking at the picture itself we shall uh, write down the things right so anteriorly what are the structures you have got anteriorly you have got the sternum okay next posteriorly what do you have posteriorly you have got thoracic vertebra from t1 to t4 t1 to t4 thoracic vertebra okay next anteriorly posteriorly then is superiorly what do we have superiorly we have got what is called as a superior thoracic aperture superior thoracic aperture and finally inferiorly what do we have inferiorly what do you have inferiorly you have got a line that is passing all the way from the sternum till the lower border of t4 you have got the line passing from sternum till the lower border of t4 line passing from the lower border of t4 so these are the borders of the superior mediastinum so exactly remember the same picture guys remember the same picture now i'm going to show you the x-ray over here right if you look at this x-ray on this x-ray also if I draw a line like this, right, so this will become the superior mediastinum, right, and here you can see this part which is completely uh, globular here, this is your heart. So if I draw a line here, here you can divide into three, this is called as an anterior mediastinum, this is called as a medial mediastinum and this is called as a posterior mediastinum. And I hope very clearly you can look at the uh, vertebra on the back also. These are the vertebra which are located on the back. So in this way we are dividing it. Okay. But one very important clinical point I want to tell you here. What is that very important clinical point is that guys. Just look at this picture whatever I am drawing. Right. So exactly here. You have got trachea. All of you know that this is a trachea. Now any space that is present in front of the trachea. Can I call it as a pre-tracheal space, right? Second important thing is you have got your heart over here. You have got your heart and this is your iota all the way that is coming out, right? And not to forget that this part over here is your diaphragm like this. Now, listen carefully that here you have to draw one line that is going up like this, okay? Now, the upper part is called as a, above this line you have got the superior mediastinum. Below this, you have got the inferior mediastinum. In the inferior mediastinum also, I already told you that this part is your anterior, this part is your middle, this part is your posterior. Now, look here carefully. In this patient, the anterior mediastinum, this is the anterior mediastinum. The anterior mediastinum is in continuation with the neck. Neck in a sense, exactly speaking, it is in continuation with the space that is located in front of the trachea. Can I call it as pre-tracheal space? Right. So, why am I telling you this is, for example, if there is any kind of infection here, if there is any kind of infection here, what will happen? This infection from the pretracheal space can very easily enter into the anterior mediastinum and cause a condition called as anterior mediastinitis. 
anterior medius tenuis. Okay, so I hope you understood this, right? So all of you have to remember that the pretracheal infections, whatever are there in the neck region, they can easily enter into the anterior medial stenum and cause anterior media stenitis. So, uh, what are the structures we have so far discussed, guys? This is all about the introductory part which we have to discuss regarding the media stenum. So, thank you so much for watching my video. Goodbye.